next point, the next thing to do after this point is find your clutch spring wherever I put that. Ta da! Um, grab your cover. Um, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, when we're putting this clutch together, movable sheave has a notch um, located where one of the weights would sit. So you got a notch there, you got a dot on the top of the spider. Those have to be lined up when you put that back together. There's also a dot on the cover that needs to be lined up. And reason is you'll see um, these counter bores on the top of of the clutch. Um, those were put in because at the factory they put the clutch together, they spun it on a, a balancing machine. It, it'll tell them where they need to remove how much material based on uh, spinning it. It's just, it, all they're doing is balancing the clutch. Look up a video, it's kind of neat actually how they do it. But they, they index all that so that you balance it one time and you're good for the life of the clutch. Now if you put the cover on wrong um, or turned however many degrees it would end up being your clutch won't be in balance your clutch might not work right it could throw your crank out of balance it would be an extreme case but basically you just want to make sure you got everything indexed correctly um, so we take our cover line up the dot and the the notch and the dot put our spring in lay that over Pull the movable sheave up as far as we can. Um, then we got six six bolts that'll go into the cover to hold it down um, under the spring pressure. We're gonna throw just a spot of blue Loctite on on these six bolts quick before we put them in. Um, then we got our torque wrench for that too. So that's actually going to be 10 foot pounds so 120 inch pounds I'll just use my small one for that okay got that locked and ready to go the book calls for blue Loctite on these this isn't just my wild idea apply a little of that on there I like to start with just three of them you got six tower clutch so you got three weights I'll just throw a bolt in one of the three or in one of the two locations over three each of the three weights now is when you kinda gotta man up a little bit Hold that cover down against the spring pressure. I just do it by hand. They make fancy tools for this, but like I said, you can just man up and hold it down. Turn the bolts in so that some threads catch. Now some people will tell you you absolutely have to do this you know, with one of the tools that compresses it because you might pull things out of line when you're putting the cap on. Don't worry that damn much about it. Just <laughs> get the three started, evenly move, evenly tighten them up until they're contact with the movable sheave. Put your last three in, torque them down, call it good. I haven't had an issue doing it this way. And I've been doing it this way a while. Doesn't mean I won't start having an issue, so tell me if I'm if I'm doing it wrong, but 
The main thing is, is you don't want to screw up the fiber bushing in the cover. That's why they want you to use a compressor, compression tool to hold it down while you put the bolts in. Yeah, they're right. You can screw that bushing up, but like I said, if you just if you get it started, you take your time and work your way down, you, you shouldn't screw that up, but you gotta just take your time and pay attention. You can't just screw one side all the way in and expect to screw the other two sides in and not screw that bushing up. What I'll do is I'll get it pretty even and I'll just count my turns. Give each side the even amount of turns. Now don't count them because I haven't been counting, but you get the idea. Run them down so they're snug. Throw your other three in. Snug them down. Ten foot pounds or 120 inch pounds, as I mentioned before. We'll do this in a cross pattern. And then like that, your primary clutch is ready to be slapped on the old girl. Um, another note, or a couple of notes, when you're putting your clutch onto your crankshaft, your clutch bolt that holds it on, um, most RCAT clutches 50 to 55 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. If you got questions, reach out, Facebook, comment, however you want to get a hold of me. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see. Um, if you want to see more of these, help me out by subscribing. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching.